What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about the best vlogging camera for 2019 from the Canon M50 to the Canon G7X. So let's get into it. One of the biggest pros of the Canon G7X is that it's compact. This guy you can stick in your pocket or a small purse and with it being smaller it's not super obnoxious to vlog on. So if you are a new vlogger and want to be a bit more low-key then this might be the one for you. The biggest con has to be the microphone because if you're planning on vlogging outside you're going to get that annoying wind noise when it's super windy and that will sometimes wreck your footage. The biggest pro for the Canon M50 has to be that it's a mirrorless camera and has interchangeable lenses. This camera comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens but there is a variety of lenses you can buy for it. And if you buy a converter like I did, you can use any lens on it, which is amazing. The biggest con of this guy is that with an external mic attached and screen flipped out, it is a lot bulkier than the G7X, and you do draw some attention to yourself. If you guys who are watching this are brand new to vlogging, this will be your first vlog camera, you haven't really vlogged before, and you're not sure exactly what to do, I will leave one of my videos linked down below where I did a how to film a travel video. I go over all the shots you'll need and everything, so I will leave that linked below so you can check it out. I also wanted to give a big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and if you guys are looking for a way to learn how to do videos, learn how to improve your editing, they have an online platform with thousands of classes at a really affordable price. I've actually been on the platform for about a year now um, and it honestly is a really great place to learn something new and what I like about it as well is yes you might be able to watch a YouTube tutorial on something but a lot of times people don't go super in depth about how to do something necessarily whereas the Skillshare videos is always from really talented people who really know their craft. So I've definitely learned a lot from some of the videos on there and honestly you can never stop learning. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity or just keep learning, it's a really great website. So I will leave a code down below that you guys can actually get two months free of Skillshare. So definitely make sure to check that out when you guys are finished watching this video. So let's go over the difference of each camera in a little more detail. Starting with the screen. So I like how the screen of the Canon G7X flips up like this. So if you do need to balance it on a car dash or a tight space, it doesn't take up that much room. And with this camera, I actually bought this little tripod that I'll leave linked below. And I chose this one over the larger Joby Gorillapod you'll often see vloggers carrying around, mainly because it was more compact. The Canon M50 has a screen that goes to the side. I find you're actually less tempted to look in the viewfinder with it this way, but it does make it appear even bulkier when you're filming, so keep that in mind. Next up is the stabilization. A big pro of the Canon G7X is the image stabilization. So when you're getting walking shots when you're vlogging and walking, it's not as shaky. And with the Canon M50, you can buy lenses with stabilization, but it's still not super stable since the body doesn't have that in-body stabilization, it's just the lens doing it, so something to think about. So next up we have the low light. The low light capabilities of the Canon G7X is quite amazing. Yes, it might have some trouble focusing in low light at times, but it still does a great job for a small camera. I can be in a almost pitch black room and it will still somehow pick up my face. The low light on the Canon M50 honestly isn't great with a kit lens, but since since it does have interchangeable lenses, you can buy a lens that is better in low light with this camera, so it does make it flexible that way. Next we have the external mic. The biggest con of the G7X is the wind noise, since you can't plug in an external mic. To combat this, however, there are certain products you can buy, such as a mini wind muff, which will help with this issue. This is the audio test on the Canon M50. It's so windy. On the Canon M50 with the external mic plugged in. So this is the uh, Rode video mic, um, the mini one. I will leave it linked below and honestly does cut out a lot of the wind noise because it's like super like very very windy um, so that's the one upside of this mic I just got sick of with the G7X always having audio that just didn't work um, and I would just have to just not use so many clips because the audio is wrecked so for that reason in the audio category the Canon M50 definitely wins so this is what it sounds like without the mic plugged in very similar kind of wind noise to the G7X Next up we have the zoom and the focus. So on the G7X I noticed that the focus can be troublesome at times and it does focus a bit quicker on the Canon M50. For the G7X there's no option to zoom in quickly since it's just the top button that you just kind of slowly put in. It will zoom in quite a bit but it doesn't look great while you're trying to zoom it in whereas if you have an interchangeable lens on um, that has the ability to zoom in and out you can do it a lot quicker so it's good for that. Next up we have the image quality.
quality. So the next con, which really isn't an issue if you're not doing much B-roll, is that the G7X isn't as sharp as the Canon M50. So for example, I do all of my B-roll on a Canon 1DX, which is extremely sharp. So having my footage go from clips that are really crisp, high quality footage to the Canon G7X, there's quite a bit of difference. And this was actually a comment I got from a subscriber on one of my videos and is what led me to buy this new camera. Because for me, quality is important and I did want to have the footage match a little bit better. As for the price, here's what you're looking at for both of the cameras. So as you can see, they are very similar in price, but you're going to spend a bit more if you have the Canon M50 because you'll want to buy things like different lenses or an external mic for it. So overall, what's my pick? So the Canon M50 is my camera of choice because quality is important to me and having it more consistent between the two cameras. If you're brand new to vlogging and want something easy and portable, I would go with the G7X. So I want to note as well before you go out and buy this camera is that they are coming out with a Canon G7X Mark III, which has some pretty incredible features. I was watching some reviews on it and I would honestly wait for that camera just because I think it is quite a step up from the Mark II. If you've been vlogging for a few years and want something you can also do decent b-roll on, then I'd suggest going for the Canon M50. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and found it useful for deciding on what vlogging camera to get for 2019. So leave a comment down below letting me know what vlogging cameras you guys have used and of course make sure to follow me on Instagram as well and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!